this morning. Good. Well, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, how to stop, how to have a, a good country. I mean, if you start off with a bad product, you're going to end with a bad product. And of course, you've got two types of hogs. You've got a meat type, bacon type, and then you've got a lard type, which is a fat hog. 50, 60 years ago, you had two types, but everybody had lard type hogs. And the reason being, people used the lard to make bread. And so the bigger the hog, the more lard you got. And I don't care who came and talked to the farm family, if that hog wasn't going to give them at least a can of lard, they wasn't going to kill that hog. And most times, a person would say, that one ought to give me two, three, three cans of lard and now it's ready to kill. Well, guess what? A ham on that hog is going to weigh 75, 80 pounds. That's too large for a show. However, when you're feeding your family, the more meat you have, <coughs> the less times you have to go out there and do this type of work. And when you're doing manual labor, you've got to have something as the old people say, that would stick to your ribs. So for young people who are here, uh, this is a little bit about Georgia history. Uh, as the time changed, we learned that you don't need a lot of fat in your diet. So consequently, you shift more to a bacon type hog. So why am I telling you this? When you go to select an animal to kill. You want something that's going to give you what old people used to call a streak of lean. That means you see a layer of fat and a layer of lean. A layer of fat and a layer of lean. You want an animal and the weight tend to shift. A USDA number one normally is somewhere between 190 220 pounds. Now, a USDA number one can go up as high as 250 pounds. And still be in the class, they call it a USDA number one hip. So that is the difference in where we were versus where we are today. 